every election nowadays is about one thing at the end of the day. Taking your money and putting it into the pockets of the establishment. It's about a transfer of wealth from the middle class to the richest members of our society through politicians misusing public funds. The last election you voted in cost us trillions of dollars and the bulk of the money was spent on several government relief efforts that ended up going to millionaires and billionaires through circuitous routes while the rest of us lost jobs in our savings. They are selling America. It's just straight up third world corruption in Congress. If we don't start voting them out, then the entire country will follow in 5, 10, or 20 years. I know they say this election is about abortion, or Ukraine, or gun control, or some other hot button issue, but ask yourself, does what you want done on these important issues put money in the pockets of your representative, your politician? If not, then they're not ever going to do it. It's as simple as that. The most profitable thing for Congress to do is to do nothing on every major issue so they can get lobbied and paid by both sides in their efforts to affect the vote of Congress members. So that's exactly what they end up doing. Nothing. Look, we all know what is about to happen. It's primary time in May. The RNC and the DNC are gonna put, pile on all their resources from the media, the political party, and the money, and they will put all on the candidate who's the most corruptible and in line with the DC establishment who won't ever ruffle the feathers of those members of Congress already in power. And then they'll tell you that you need to vote for them or you're the sellout, not them. You have to compromise your ethics and get burnied in order to support the corporate candidate. It's the old sabotage the primary vote and force the general vote. That's the same strategy used time and time again. Don't buy it and vote independent and show them that you don't play this game that they do every single election, whether it's choose corrupt red or corrupt blue because either way DC wins and it is safe to continue business as usual. Instead we can let independents and political outsiders rise up and challenge the establishment in DC. We can make this system work for most ordinary people by electing normal people who don't take bribes. It's just common sense that that would be a better path. And we have to do this at the general election after the censorship of the primaries so they can't keep the new people's names off the ballot and censor new ideas through their typical method, the primaries. It's not an accident that every single member expected to win the primary is accepting millions of dollars in donations and has a long history of accepting them. That's why I'm running for Congress in 2022. Vote for me and let's show them that there are Americans who want change, real change, and cannot be bought.